Hello. Oh, I'm crooked. Hello. Hi, hi. Just making sure my sound looks good. Let me know if that music's too loud. Okay, I'm going to try and say this right. Argy Lesky? Did I say that right? Hello. I'm just going to move this chair. So good to see you all. Oh, sounds good. Thanks. Hey, Gold Doe Jake. Yes, it's almost Canada Day. Um, June 1st. <laughs> Was the question of the day made for you? And it, I was just, uh, pretty much, yes, I will say that, yes. Um, I'm doing some prep today, so I've done a couple of these already. So I have some maple leaves. I'm going to be taking, I have some black flood icing. I'm just going to grab my stencil here. Uh, yeah, question of the day, if you want to answer it, is if you had to give one up, which one would you give up? Alpy Jean, hello. Thank you for the sub. Three months already. Holy smokes. <laughs> and emotes. Woohoo. Good to see you. How are you doing? Are you working today? Argyle, like the socks. Sky. Oh, Argyle Sky. See, I apparently just can't read. Uh, thanks for the emote. <laughs> Args or Argy. Love it. Crush a cane. Oh, good day one, dude. I'm doing Canada cookies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry. I guess I should call you Crusher Cane. <laughs> in my head, I'm just in Destiny World. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy and stick it over top. I've never done it before. I don't have my holder. It's going to be a disaster of wonderfulness. So I'm going to wipe the icing over top of it and hopefully get a plaid look to it. This is going to be a, a Canada flag, so I'm going to do red on both sides, and we're going to do a maple leaf in the center. I also have, but wait, there's more. A tough one. <laughs> so this is a gingerbread man. Flip it upside down, and you have a moose face. So I'm going to have a moose face here. These are the ears, and these are going to be the antlers. I have maple leaves for days. And I still have some parts to do. I was working on these this morning. And then these will just say like, oh, Canada, happy Canada day, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I like gluten, but also cheese. Why must you make me choose between my children? I know. It's like you're like the cheese biscuit person. And I'm making you choose between the two of them. I'm cruel. So cruel. Anyway, this red is making me really happy. <laughs> That'll look awesome. Thanks, Argyle. Um, it's good to see you. How is everyone doing? It's what, Monday? How Are Mondays good? All the days are the same for me, but I know some people don't like Mondays. Just got out of work. Was helping teach a new beggar. It was pretty fun. Like, really fun? Or was that like a sarcastic it was fun? <laughs> That's brilliant. You know, I wish I could take credit for it. But I really can't. Um, I found it on the internet. One of my favorite things ever is repurposed um, cookie cutters. Like using something it's not supposed to be. Like I turn baby onesies into shirts all the time. Which isn't as creative. But Hi Gru! Good to see you! <laughs> Give up gluten since you've been doing that for 12 years and you love cheese, but like cinnamon buns and eating freely at any restaurant. Yes, honestly. What up, what up, what up, Gru? Okay, I should make sure I'm working fast enough so this doesn't turn into a liney mess. It's been a good time. So I've learned I tend to over dye things because red specifically there hope you, I feel like we need more light oh there we go that's better <laughs> okay okay I want to say this right too Kalem Malenin did I destroy your name hello hi 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 I'm sorry 
I am not saying hello quickly enough. I need to get my floods on. I'm going to be doing some marbling today. I love marbling. Oh, I have to show you. I did my maple bacon cookies for those who were here chatting with me about it last week. They exist. They are a thing. <laughs> All of the hellos. Hey, I like the finger guns. <laughs> did anyone ever do the thing where they tried to answer the phone funny? So instead of saying like, hello, they said yellow. My family said purple. I used to do a thing. This one's kind of funny. I had to do more icing. So these are like two different colors. So this one we will definitely do plaid because then the black should cover most of that up. <laughs> so I'm just blending it, getting the air bubbles out here. It looks kind of fun and swirly actually. I'm kind of digging it. I'll give it a little shake here. Give up both. You'd rather eat bread products. Nice new emo. It's Mr. Dave Beard. I know. I uploaded them. I was so excited. I'm glad I made them. Can you see how swirly that is? You can kind of see that. A little bit. Yeah, I was so stoked for uh, getting more emotes. Thanks, uh, Tina Hendricks, for getting me those sub points. I just gotta move my dry ones over here. I'm surrounded by maple leaves and I'm not complaining. Maple is a delightful flavor and taste. So, okay, Trey goes this way, you go this way, and we're back. <laughs> Everyone's trying out the new emotes, hello. I know, which one's your favorite? I can't pick, here you go. Sorry, there's not an earthquake going on. I'm just rolling around. Fantastic. Uh, actually fun. She was nice. 14. Her first job. Oh, I love it. Her first week too. Couldn't even fool me. She was pretty much self-sufficient. Oh, that's lovely. Answer. Ahoy. Ahoy. <laughs> um, I would probably do dairy because I've been doing it my whole life. And I live off of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'm not even joking. I eat so much PB&J. It's my go-to snack. Is anyone, like, are, are, are y'all playing video games these days? What, what kind of games are you playing? I've been killing it at the turnip prices on um, Animal Crossing. I made 700,000 bells last week. I'm so excited. Your friends and I are cringe. <laughs> We answer the phone with each other by going, hello, hello. <laughs> I like it. I have one friend who always tries to answer it and she was like, what's up dog? But she's very not gangster. So it, it didn't work very well. Sometimes I'll go for cowboy. But I used to make really goofy answering machines for, it would be things like, Sarah's out at the cattle ranch right now. She can't get to that phone. So you better just take on that. Or I had a Mission Impossible one for a while. I was like, I had the music in the background and was like, your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to leave a message. And then I got older to the point where I was like, okay, I'm applying for jobs. My answering machine should probably be like mildly professional <laughs> in case I miss the call and they're like, Hi, we want to interview you. Because then they'd like go on it and be like, oh, we don't want to interview this person. <laughs> I love all the emotes. That's so fun. Uh, why Alexander Graham Bell wanted the greeting to be ahoy. Oh, I would go with it. Dairy just to be able to eat gluten again. Yeah. It's hard. I feel like there's a lot of dairy-free substitutes or you can just like leave the cheese off. But gluten is, it's tough. Unless you live in like India. They're pretty good at being gluten-free actually. Lots of rice. So if you live in Asia, it's easier to be dairy-free. Because <laughs> they have a lot of rice-based foods that are delicious. Oh my goodness. Uh, you tried out Northgard the other day. Your friends and I are playing Age of Mythology often. I haven't heard of nor played either of those. What kind of a game is that? 
Fortnite and D3. What is D3? Playing video games would insinuate you had free time. No! You're just working and sleeping and working and sleeping some more, hey? I feel it. I go on Animal Crossing, I check the turnip prices, and then I leave. <laughs> That's been the extent of my gaming these days. It has been like that. <laughs> Absolutely rather give up dairy. You could just do almond milk. Almond milk is delicious. There's no substitute for bread buns, donuts, cinnamon buns. It's true. What just happened? My music just decided it needed to open the cover soundtrack. Okay, we're working again. That was weird. <laughs> my VLC media player just decided to take over my whole screen. It's true, and like, there's a lot of dairy substitutes that taste really good, but gluten, it's hard to get the right consistencies, and it's like, grainy, and the texture can be tough to match, and uh... There's a lot of, especially when it comes to meals, there's a lot of dairy-free options. Like, you can always do, like, steak and potatoes, which I guess is also gluten-free. Anyway, I agree. Your answering machine tells people to sing their message. <laughs> and then it then says my secretary will tell them their options. Then the Autobot starts by saying, to do this, press blue. <laughs> That's so clever. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> your secretary I saw this thing um, there's the person that does like voice recordings for phone answering machines their friend was getting spammed on Kijiji or Google or something so they like faked calling the person because they figured out this person was trying to scam them for money and not give them a, whatever they were selling so they'd call back and be like hello you've reached tell us and they did all of the voice and stuff for it apparently it worked very well wing wing hello oh diablo 3 right you told me about diablo when you were playing it how goes goes your uh your gem leveling up how's that going for you i'm just you know for those who've been hanging out with me for a while know i've been like counting down the days to the new harvest moon for like since it was announced, really. But it's only in like a week or two, three weeks. The little dino boy. Hello. You've been exhausted. Oh, Alfie Jean. Yeah. Um, Maxine Z was telling me about how she just started doing construction and they've just been hauling dirt for like 10 hours a day. <laughs> like, oh, that sounds so tiring. We use a ton of almond flour for baked goods. You know, I've heard a lot. Believe it or not, I've actually never tried almond flour in all of my gluten and dairy free baking. And I've heard amazing things about it. Like, it's something that's been used before gluten and dairy was a big thing. That's not marzipan. Marzipan is almond extract, is what I'm thinking about. Huh? <sighs> Your problem with using a lot of dairy substitutes is you have an allergy to most nuts. Oh, you could do, do you, are you allergic to soy? Cause soy is a nut, isn't it? It's a soy nut. Um, yeah, you're, you're probably thinking like, because I've done some dairy substitutes with cashews a lot. You can make a really good cashew Alfredo sauce, like cashew and um, what's that other thing? Avocados. I've done that a lot, uh, and it's quite delicious. But I've also found a lot of um, coke. Can you have coconut LPG? Does that count as a nut in nut allergy world? I remember you once. You've given me your list of things you can't eat a couple times. That's awesome. Hello, Dino Boy. Grind is fine. You have a few hundreds ready to go. Sweet. How long did that take you? Was that, uh, did that take you a bit? Hey, you get where you're supposed to be, mister. My icing's trying to leak off the sides. 
This cookie makes me really happy. Alpy Jean, do you have lots of maple trees where you live? I remember you said you lived close to like a maple factory. Okay, give this a little shake. Your wife can't do flour, glucose. Oh, your wife can't do rice, glucose issues. Oh, yeah, because that's a starch thing. Is that like a diabetic thing? Also, if that's too personal, feel free to not answer that question. Marzipan with almond flour. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. Is it good? I don't think I've ever had marzipan. You go where you're supposed to. There you go. I just want to get the edges right for this because I'm keeping them so simple. Like most of these, I'll probably just do like A in the corner of. So I want it to um, be even. So these ones are a little lighter than my last ones, but that's okay. I just won't sell them in the same batches. It's all good. So you're fine with, you have a reaction to walnuts, almonds, and cashews. Oh, so you, most of the nut milks are like cashew. I've seen lots of cashew and almond milk is pretty popular. Oat milk is becoming a thing now. I'm like, how does oat milk work? Because, I mean, normally I do oatmeal every morning in my Instant Pot. And we'll, like, wash the oats. You'd be surprised what comes off rice when you wash rice. This is a very dramatic song. It's very epic. I'm not feeling epic. <laughs> anyway, and the water that comes off the oats is quite milky, so... I wonder how oat milk is. I haven't tried it. You're thinking of your kidney stones. Oh, not your allergies. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking of all your dietary restrictions. This cookie is getting me hyped for Canada Day. Oh, awesome. Yeah. You said you didn't have any plans, hey, Dino Boy? My city did some really fun stuff that I totally wasn't aware of until after it happened. They've been doing some, like, scavenger hunt, like, social distancey stuff. They separated the whole town into zones, and then they did a drive-by parade. So they just had a couple trucks go by. Um, and it's so funny, because I was, the other day, I was like, that is not a horn. It doesn't sound like a normal, like, fire truck or something. So I was all, like, confused. But apparently it was a parade. So, how about the, the non-Canadians? When, uh, when are your national celebration days? Feel free to not disclose that if you don't feel like it, but I know uh, I have some friends who I think it's August 2nd to do Swiss days. Uh, you have a lot of maple trees. You live by the nearest maple barn. Yeah! Oh, they're so pretty. I went to the East Coast once. That's where my dad's family is from, um, of Canada. I'm in the West. And, ugh, we went in the fall, and it was just so beautiful. It's like, where I live, it's just yellow in the fall. But the East Coast, it's like purple and orange. And it's just gorgeous. No, you need to go there. Okay. Okay. It takes about an hour and a half to go to 100 for like one jewel or gem, sorry. That is some epic time commitment, my goodness. <laughs> Which is saying, I mean, I play a lot of like weirdly grindy games, like level grinding and uh, trying to think of an example. I guess it's not level grinding. I do a lot of repetitive stuff in Animal Crossing, that's for sure. And lots of repetitive farming stuff. <laughs> Skyrim, though, that's... Is there any level grinding in Skyrim? I guess you do level your character up. <laughs> okay. So, these ones are just vanilla. It's just a basic sugar cookie and a vanilla icing. But, oh, I was going to show you my bacon cookies. Those are the ones I'm going to marble, because then I can tell them apart. 
And I actually put maple flavoring in the batter. I was gonna do the icing, but Mr. Dave Beard had a better idea. The oat milk looks good. Yeah, I'd be interested in trying it. I think it's about, it looks like it's about the same cost now. They're starting to market it at the same price. So there's a lot of uh, market for stuff like that. Not that you know of, unless your mom has plans. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing really. I'll be making more cookies, <laughs> probably. Oh no, not then. I have today and tomorrow, and then I actually have a few days off without orders. It's been a pretty busy month. So I'm kind of surprised. Hello, wow, Jen. How are you? What are you up to? What have you been painting recently? I peeked at um, your watercolor bunnies the other day and my goodness, they were gorgeous. Do you feel like you've been improving a lot since you've started streaming? I mean, maybe you've always been that good, but. <laughs> I find I've been practicing so much, especially when I was streaming, uh, painting and stuff before. It makes you practice and you get good. Clockwork Gummy, hi! Next one's July 4th. Yes, those are, that's the states, right? Someone was setting off fireworks last night and I'm like, it's a little premature, people. I don't know if the city was like testing them because they were quite large fireworks, but. This is after they announced Please don't set off fireworks. You need a permit. <laughs> One gem need, you need 13, but you want some for backup. Oh, that's a lot. So that's 13. And then half of 13 would be six and a half. So six. So 13 plus six is 19. So it's 19 and a half hours of work you have. Ooh, did I do my math right? If it's about an hour and a half per gem. It's always uh, rewarding when you earn something in a game, I find. I've heard that there's games where people can like, I think it's mostly World of Warcraft where they can, people will buy items because I think you can trade them, but I don't know. I like to earn it. Make your own oat milk. How? I guess I could Google it. Do you know, Gru, how to make your own oat milk? Yeah, I haven't had a ton of time for games, so I'm living vicariously through you all. <laughs> I have the season pass for Destiny, and I just have not been playing, and I feel so bad because I paid for the season pass. Not that it's much, it's like $14, but still, the frugal old woman in me is like, how dare you not be using that? It's a fun season, too. You're great. You're definitely improving with streaming. Yeah, you've been working on human portraits lately. Totally outside your comfort zone. I am not surprised. I agree. I was actually, I think it was, was it Gru? We were talking about, like, ew, humans. <laughs> humans are hard. You know, I grew up drawing them, but I would way rather paint, like, a fluffy buddy or <laughs> yeah anyway 20 hours that's crazy you know how to google it oh okay yeah i'll have to google it too <laughs> that'd be interesting this red is a little i thought it would darken more on me but that's okay if you don't put them next to other ones maybe it's like those ones are like from a different tree that didn't have as good of soil only like 12 dollars. okay well that maybe makes me feel better, Mr. Dave Beard. <laughs> so, maybe I'll start playing more. But, mostly if there is spare time, I'm usually like watching anime and then going to sleep. <laughs> I've been converted. I've been so converted to anime. It's not even, it's, yeah, that's all I'm doing right now. Animals are way easier. I know! What is it about people that are so complicated? Like, drawing hands. I have yet to figure out how to draw hands. Normally I do, like, chibi people that just have little blobs for hands. That's- I cheat. When I was a kid, I used to draw people with their hands behind their backs. Because then I didn't have to draw their hands. <laughs> that was my cheat. 
Or noses. I have a hard time with noses too, actually. All you draw are people? Dude, Golto Jake. Send me your skills. Yeah, I tend to be more... Do you remember that Golto Jake and I did this old magazine? Did you do that little magazine? It was like a kid's magazine quiz of like what kind of an artist are you? And it told you if you were like into realism or... I remember I took this quiz as like a eight-year-old or whatever. Maybe it was more like 12. And it was like, you should draw cartoon stuff. And I was like, no way. And now that's like all I draw. <laughs> You could never get a hang of animals, no? Okay, well, I'll do the animals, and then you can just draw the people into it. And it'll be great. One cup of oats, four cups of water, filter through a t-shirt, according to Google. Would you soak it? See, I make oatmeal every morning, so maybe I should just, like, not... Because I wash the oats, maybe I should just keep the liquid. Oh, you are not firm enough for me. Drawing teeth? Oh my goodness. Yes. Drawing teeth is terrifying. And because if you do teeth badly, it like ruins the whole picture. Because teeth just like... Because it looks like all white, but you got to get that shading in there. But if you do it too much, they look like terrifying serial killers. Yeah. You can't draw hands or mouths. <laughs> oh, my hands behind the back cheat. Yeah. Okay, I should really stick these in the dehydrator. I'm just gonna roll behind me here for a second. You might hear a slight hum. So, dehydrator at 97 degrees Fahrenheit helps dry them out and it makes them shiny. I wanna be shiny. See that nice little shimmer there? That is from the dehydrator and a little bit of corn syrup when you're icing. People are hard because we see them all the time and have an excellent reference. Oh, that's the reason, hey? Are those all the maple leaves? Am I done the maple leaves? Oh my goodness, I've been doing maple leaves like all morning. Oh no, there's one more. It's too good to be true. Okay, yeah, that's all the maple leaves and then we'll do some flags. Was it a quiz book that you had? Maybe it was. It was something of some sort. Hot water, rolled oats, not steel cut. Huh, oh, cause steel cuts are kind of like funky, aren't they? Like, kind of, why is this so thick? I might need a new tip, hold on. Let me just take a look at the inside. Come here. So that icing's fine, that, we might just need to squeeze this stuff out of it. That's true. It makes it much harder to get away with little errors since we all inherently know how people should look. Notice them drawn. Oh, imperfection. Quickly. Come on. Get out. Get out. Okay, this should be fine. Hey, you're not what I want. You're not the one that I want. You're not the one I want. <laughs> ooh, 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 honey. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Wow. Why are we wow? Oh, the shiny? I'm going to say you're wowing it because I wow it. Yeah, it's, uh, it makes a big difference. <coughs> Ooh, sorry, that was rude. I thought that would be a little... We're just going to move on and pretend it didn't happen. Yeah, having a dehydrator saves me literal days of my life because royal icing, you would probably want to dry... Um, between layers, you have to do it eight to ten minutes or if you don't get in that eight to ten minute mark in between layers you have to um, wait like six so having a dehydrator cuts that time down to like 20 minutes you just described one of your portraits terrifying serial killer teeth I just that is my experience I know I made this flood so liquidy and it is not being liquidy, so I'm just gonna, oh, there it goes, there it goes. The tip <clears throat> may have just dried out a bit. There's frogs jumping in my throat right now. Exactly. Okay, I agree. But you don't see, like, a 
rhinoceros every day, so if you can't see the imperfections. Oh, there we are. Okay, my icing's working now. This is lovely. <clears throat> I'm just gonna deal with my throat for a second. I get too excited sometimes when I'm streaming. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry again. I'm just bumping you. Do, 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 do. I get too excited and then I talk really high pitched and I don't breathe properly and then my voice is like, hello. Cat, hello. Spell check fail. <laughs> sorry about. I knew what you meant, Jen. It's all good. I totally know where you're at. Paste of the recipe in your DMs. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Gru. I'll have to give that a shot. That's what I'll do next time I don't want to do the grocery store. Because I always have oats in my house. I'll just make oat milk and it'll be great. No, 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 honey. You're not the one that I want. You're not the one I want. <gasps> okay, look at these things I got. Aren't these fun? So instead of using elastic bands, you got a little thinger on them can just bring it around and it just grabs the other little finger like that and it holds your bag shut and normal elastics work great too so if anything wants to commission a picture of a scary person you're the one to talk to <laughs> hey cat how's your writing have you been working away i got red in this by g by golly Oh, by gosh, by golly, it's time for mistletoe and holly. Sorry, that's out of season, but that's probably my favorite Christmas song. Is that Sinatra? I think it is Sinatra. That's not very pretty at all. Hope you're okay. Oh, me? Mr. G Dr. Moose smacking chat around. Oh, I'm totally good. I'm totally good. I just get so excited, and I like having you guys uh, to talk to. Are you talking about my throat? Yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm doing great. Yeah. You just need to draw a picture of Nathan Drake's back with a view of the scary-looking bad guys over him. <laughs> Nathan Drake. Remind me who that is. It's questionable. Oh, you're writing. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, how am I? I'm doing really well. Yeah. I'm at the end of a very long few weeks of orders after orders. And a couple complicated orders that had me up to like 6 a.m. working on them. Oh, the protagonist from Uncharted. That makes sense. Just, like, put a name tag on his back or something. I am Nathan Drake. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pop these flags in because I'm going to need to do stuff on top of them. And now we're going to do... I'm doing all my base layers because I want things to be dry. Or I could do the flags. Okay, tell me what I should do. Maybe I should do the floods on these. Oh, I still have this to do. Should I start the moose? Moose or flags? You get to pick. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so I'm looking forward to uh, this weekend. I might actually have nothing, but it's still early in the week. Moose, okay. We shall do the moose next. That's kind of what I was thinking too, actually. Because that one's going to have a couple layers I'm going to need to do. Plus the dryer. I've learned that if you have thicker um, white icing, I was doing my white too thin and I was getting some bleeding issues. So this poor forgotten maple leaf. I'm excited to try the stencil. <laughs> Moose all around. All right. It's very fitting for my stream channel. Finally doing some moose cookies. This one I only have an order for 25, but I'm actually making 50 of them. And then I'll just throw them on my business page and be like, does anybody want these? For currency. 
<laughs> and if they don't, I have friends. <laughs> I love the little moose, please. It makes me so happy. What does the dehydrator do to the cookies? Okay, so it mostly just um, crusts over the icing. So uh, it's quite wet, and normally with royal icing, you want it to dry in between layers. If you don't let them dry, you have issues with color bleeds, so, and it looks really messy, so it just looks like a little puddle almost around in the other icing. It'll pick up the moisture, will pull the color. So that's really apparent if you're doing like black on white or red on white or black on red. It's quite obvious and it looks really messy. Um, you also have, yeah, so anyway, so if I left this for eight-ish minutes, I could do another layer on top and it would be fine. Um, but I do so many that by the time I get back to them, they would be in a weird place and for some reason it, it transfers. Anyway, so the dehydrator just brings that crust up and it dries it out to a point where I can do multiple layers. So it mostly speeds up my time is what it does. It also, if I put them in right away, it makes them really glossy. They have more of a matte look if, if I um, let them air dry normally but I really like the, the glossy look to it. Okay, I've pulled out my inspiration. Royal icing, the cookie itself. Oh, so actually when I bake my cookies, I don't bake them very dark. So I just get like the golden color and that's it. I don't want them super dark. Um, so then, and they're thick. So they actually have a decent amount of moisture. If I was to press on this hard, it would go through because it's not hard. The icing is actually moist enough. Okay, hold on. I'm going to do copper for the face, ivory for the mouth, and then dark brown for the antlers. Or should I do dark brown for the face? Copper for the antlers. Hold on, let me look at this. And then ivory for the snout. And then the inside of the ears would be mm, crust. <laughs> I'm gonna go say I'm gonna just do this. Gingerbread mousse. I know we're sneaking it. So I used a copper and it has little dots in it. So I'm hoping this turns out okay. Maybe if I just give it a little squish in here. It just didn't mix very well. Um, we'll try one and we'll see how it works. Um, anyway, so there's enough moisture in the cookie and there's enough moisture in the thing called the icing that if you put it in a container, as long as they're in containers, they actually moisten up quite well. I've had no complaints. I've actually had people come back and tell me that they're really surprised at how moist they are. Um, so I, I think it's a good mix of having a good recipe. Um, also when I bake it, I cool it and it goes straight in a container or into a plastic bag. Um, so that's important too. Uh, and I don't leave them out for very long. So if I pre-bake a bunch of cookies, I often will um, freeze them because freezing baked cookies works really really well. I'll also freeze my dough. Oh that's the other thing. Use fresh dough. So I find I have more issues with dryness so if I made dough and left it in the fridge for a couple days absolutely ruins the dough. There's something about the humidity in the fridge that just... I haven't had issues with like chocolate chip. Even um, snickerdoodles I haven't had issues with. Molasses, I've been, oh, no, molasses dries out in the fridge. But for some reason, sugar cookies in the fridge just don't work. So, do moose have darker ears on the inside, or is it lighter? I should know this. I'm gonna do darker. Anyway, so, as long as it's fresh dough, I've never had an issue. Let's grab all of these moose. I haven't, I don't actually have a ton of them. 
but oh no, that one has a crack in his arm. <gasps> I found another maple leaf. These things just keep showing up everywhere. Okay, let's get nice and organized for a moment. Anyway, uh, and containers don't have to be expensive. I use margarine containers. <laughs> so I go through so much margarine. Um, okay, new question. What was the last? Okay, okay, okay. The title of the last movie you watched. No, the cast of the last movie you watched is your apocalypse survival group. Who's in your group? Tell me. That's what I want to know. Uh, let's also do the antlers while we're here. My messy, messy counter. So the last movie that I watched was, <laughs> was Eurovision. So my survival group is um, Rachel McAdams and Will Ferrell. <laughs> Oh, and that other guy. The dad of Will Ferrell. I can't remember his name, but he was in Mamma Mia. I can't remember what his name is. I should know his name. That was a good one, actually. I, like, audibly, like, I quite loudly laughed at Eurovision. It was a good one. It's on Netflix. Canadian Netflix. Jim Carrey and Zoe... I don't know the last name. Oh, did you watch Ace Ventura? Was that the last movie you watched? Ooh, Will Ferrell for you too. Uh, unless TV show counts. Uh, I'll say movies. Your, okay, the last, Pierce Bronson. Yes, that one. Mel Gibson. <laughs> I think you're good. Will Gibson's pretty tough, isn't he? This is not a good antler. I'm going to do my other ones better. <laughs> it was Yes Man. Oh, I liked Yes Man. I feel like there's some solid life lessons in Yes Man. To not say no to everything. Granted, my problem in most of my youth was saying yes to too many things. I think I need more space between the... What are these called? Points. Ha ha. I'll swap with you. 007 is way better than Mad Max for an apocalypse. Oh, you watched Mad Max. I enjoyed the Rick and Morty Mad Max one. Yeah, that looks, that looks a little better. So I'll I'm not going to clean up the other side because it's just cookie coming through and it'll look really messy. But So we'll just leave this as it is. So I don't want my layers to touch, which is why I'm doing this. So I'm going to do all my little bits and then I'll fill in with the face. So I'm also going to add in the little inner ear parts. So this will dry and then we'll fill in the rest of it. We'll dry it again. And then uh, we'll add the eyeballs and stuff. I wish you asked the question a few days ago. Then you could have said Jackie Chan. Excellent. Jackie Chan would have been very useful. <laughs> I mean, I'll just be laughing with Will Ferrell, I guess. Good humor. That's a survival issue. Deal. <laughs> Jim Carrey would at least be entertaining. Plus, his art is pretty cool. Jim Carrey's art is really neat. I'm just gonna do this maple leaf. Watch, they're just gonna keep showing up. <laughs> Lots of philosophical discussions. Ah. Zoe can entertain me with her singing. <laughs> yeah. Jim Carrey's a very interesting person. Every, like, interview thing that I've seen with him, I'm like, you're very interesting. Oh my goodness, speaking of interesting human beings and Eurovision that I was watching on television. Singing and musical instruments. Oh, she can re-educate the surviving world in music. Um, I was watching Eurovision and they have all these, like cameos of people who have actually like won Eurovision. There's one girl she's an Israeli artist. Her name is Netta 
And she's a loop artist. So she takes songs and like remixes them with her like looping machine and everything's done with like her voice. It's so interesting. Like I find listening to it, I'm like, this is so interesting to listen to. Anyway, I was very excited. I like discovering new music artists, so. Ooh, who's your favorite music artist? Or who's one of your favorite music artists? Tell me all of the fun music. I want to know. I really love Sarah Bareilles myself. Um, her stuff's very, she's a singer songwriter. But she hasn't been touring because she's been writing Broadway musicals. Ugh. <laughs> so, one day, one day, I'll see her in concert. That's a better question. If you could see someone in concert, who would you go see? Okay. Is that a lump? Goodbye, Maple Leaf. I have so many maple leaves. Nowhere to put them. You can live over here. I'm running out of counter space. <laughs> These ones are relatively simple, though. I like it. It's, um... They're going quite quickly. Okay. I'm not going to put the red icing on my scribe into my ivory color. <laughs> Well, thanks for joining me on a Monday. I know I uh, make a cookie tree to put the maple leaves on. Kate, that's legitimately a fantastic idea. I've seen like jewelry, um, jewelry trees and stuff, but that'd be really fun to do for Christmas too, if I made cookies that looked like ornaments could like hang them on the tree and then sell them that way I love that that'd be fun I actually bought a pumpkin spice flavoring did I end up buying that I saw a pumpkin spice flavoring which I think would be super fun I don't think I did for fall I love fall flavors but I'm enjoying summer while it's here I've decided that I'm not going to be pessimistic I've kind of gotten used to the heat so I'm more of a cold person than a hot person myself. But that's a fun idea, Mr. Dave Beard. There's a lot of stuff that I want to make. I want to do some 3D cookie stuff too. Um, what am I doing? Okay. I'm doing this upside down too, so. Uh, I'm going to go this way, and then this way, and then up, and then down up and down that's not enough bumps that's okay as long as it matches <laughs> this person's only getting a, th a three pointer I don't know much about hunting but I do know that the points matter <laughs> unlike whose line is it anyway where the points don't matter <laughs> uh, if you don't know whose line anyway is a improv show it's quite entertaining. I've been enjoying it. Okay. Here we are. Yeah, I think that one looks... I don't know if that one looks better. The other one's bigger. I think I went too thin on this one and then the next one. By the end, I'll have it here. Okay. Up we go. See, as long as they match, then it's fine. <laughs> That's the important part, is that they match. Um, I may have told this story to a few of you, but I'll tell it again. When I was growing up, uh, I used to think that moose and deer were the same species. Which is crazy considering where I live and um, that my dad was a hunter. I guess he still is a hunter. So, 
I didn't find this out till I was probably 17 years old and I was at a friend's house for it was a grad party and um, there was a moose on the wall like a what are those called a mounted there was a moose mounted on the wall I was like man that uh, that guy's really big and then someone I was with was like that's a girl it's a cow and I was like there's no such thing as girl moose. Because deer are the girls. So I thought the moose were the boys and the girls were the deer. And then, uh, anyway, they explained to me that that is not the case. And um, that they did not interbreed. And I was like, how? I think I was like, I, I was, I, I chose to be ignorant. Because my dad would bring home a, a boy deer, like a buck. And I'd be like... There's no such thing. Anyway. The things you learn, I suppose. <laughs> but that's okay. I was not uh, imbibing at this party, and lots were. So, in my mind, I'm like, well, hopefully nobody remembers it anyway. <laughs> Okay, there's your little nose. You did not know this? I know! Well, because I didn't think there was anything for anyone to know. Because I just thought that, that was my truth. <laughs> I just put my finger in this, so I'm just fixing it. Yeah. You think I would have known that by now, hey, gold toe Jake? How are your cats? Are they still on a bunch of meds? I remember you saying that they... The, that uh, the one was doing better. Okay. Let's do this better. So this is the end. I started on the opposite side. We're gonna go up and over and up and down and up. I sound like a workout instructor. And down. Three more times, ladies. One. And down. <laughs> Your cats are great. No one is on meds anymore. Oh, that's wonderful. That's super great. I'm sure they're all pretty happy about that, too. Did you end up, ever end up getting another fish? After your beta? Or uh, are you fishless for the time being? You're sitting in your chair, but you're winded. You're winded now. Great workout. Oh. <laughs> it's like, why are you winded? What happened? Do you have any pets, Argyle? Tell me about your furry people. Or scaly, or whatever. Whatever they, they are. <laughs> I have a mini dinosaur. I have a tortoise. Not end up getting another fish. Pretty devastated. You know, I get it. After my goldfish died, I was like, I'm so sad. Why am I so sad? This is just a fish. Your son is a dog and a cat. Oh, what, uh, what kinds? I have a red foot Russian. No, not a Russian tortoise. He. I have a red foot tortoise. Who lives outside right now and is loving it. You have to, you used to have two tortoises. Oh, what kind did you have? Did you have, I have red foot, so they're a, a, a desert, not a desert. They're a rainforest tortoise, so they can have fruits and stuff. Although now I'm like, the place I live in is so dry. I maybe should have gotten a to uh, desert tortoise. May have done a little better because it's not really humid where I am. I feel like this tortoise would survive better elsewhere. But, but I love them. So I've had them for three years now. So black lab and a black cat. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, I've heard black labs are really empathetic. Would you say that's true? Like they're really good like at telling their feelings. Both Russians, 
The red foots look awesome. Yeah, he's a cherry head red foot too, so it's a red foot with like it's darker and um, he's got like red on his face. So. Or she, I don't know yet. He's not old enough to tell. It's hard to tell on tortoises too. <clears throat> it's like the shape of their tail and then the shape of the shell and the shape of the the part by their tail on the underside of the tortoise. It's like if it's more curved, it's a girl because that's it would have to be more curved for eggs to uh, come out and blah blah blah. It's kind of weird. Very empathetic and very sensitive when she gets in trouble. Yeah, okay. I've heard that. I've also heard they're very high energy. <laughs> it almost makes it... Do, do you feel like because she's so sensitive that she's easier to train? Because I feel like if, if, uh, if she was sensitive when she got in trouble, maybe she'd be better to train. I had a friend whose dog, it was a mixed breed, um, wouldn't go for walks because it was so terrified of um, the drains in the ground. So it wouldn't, um, <laughs> it wouldn't go near the drains. So they had to give it to, her parents lived in the country, so now it lives where there's no drains. Very high energy, okay. <laughs> Do you feel like you can keep up with her? <laughs> okay. I forget what kind of... I really love golden retrievers. I've never owned a dog. But I, I love the look of golden retrievers. Although they're very hairy, so I might be sneezing a lot. I'm not, like, allergic to animals, but if they're around a lot, I definitely get sneezy. But... That's just me. I've heard bee pollen is really good for allergies. So my in-laws raise bees. So when they have extra pollen to spare, I'm going to try it. See what happens. <laughs> In some ways she's easier to train. In other ways she gets excited about something and doesn't Oh, hear anything else. Very one-track minded, hey? Oh, man. I see that. Okay, these ones I should really get. These few. These ones are a little more time-consuming, so I'm going to get these guys in the dehydrator. The timer on the dehydrator, I find, gets a little irritating sometimes because it beeps. For so long so I tend to uh, just set it for like an hour so I don't have to listen to it beeping all the time however my problem is is I forget how long my stuff's been in there for so just gotta check on it still young though eight months old oh wow that's like a really young pup we are sure because she was abandoned in the dog park oh so someone like took the puppy to the dog park and just left did you, like, did you find her at the dog park, or, um, oh, what am I doing? Right. Or did you, uh, like, go to a shelter? Bee pollen helps with your allergies. Oh! Do you have pretty bad seasonal allergies? Okay. There we are. How many of these do I have? Oh, I just have this four. Okay. Wow, we're really trucking along here. Either I'm faster or, um, or these are just simpler than everything else I've been, I've been doing very complicated ones this week, so these are so simple and they're going so fast. A coworker found her in January and gave her to my son. Oh. You used to have them pretty bad. Better now because of the bee pollen. <laughs> yeah, I've heard local bee pollen's really good for that. Bees are just like epically wonderful. I actually 
planted flowers specifically because I've heard there wasn't enough uh, food for the bees. So I'm pretty excited. I thought they were going to die. I don't know if anyone else does gardening here. Jen, if you're still here, are you doing zucchini again? <laughs> I've never really done it before, but somehow I've managed to grow something, so. Something kind of working. Gardening's tricky. I've been watching this baking show. I'm not a cooking show person, but for some reason I like baking shows, and I'm watching it and I'm like, I'm actually not all that experienced with baking. I mean, I know the basics, but when it gets into pastries, I guess I'm not super experienced in pastries. Quick breads and stuff I can do. Uh, I'm saying this as I'm cookies I'm solid at. <laughs> um, it's called The Great Canadian Baking Show. It actually really makes me laugh because they're like in this competition against each other and then one character or one person will be like what are you making and the other person's like oh this is what i'm doing you want to try it and the other person's like wow yeah this tastes great and then the one person's like struggling in it to get stuff done and they're in a competition and the other person will come over and be like do you need some help? Let me help you with that. They're like, oh my goodness, thank you. And they're like helping each other in the middle of this baking competition. And I'm like, oh my goodness. This is hilarious. No dirty play, that's for sure. They're all just like, during the eliminations, they all hold hands. And I'm like, this is like the kindest competition ever. Forgot about the bee pollen. You should try that. Yeah. Is the pollen giving you a... Uh, are you having a lot of allergies, Gold Toe Jake? This year is bad. Normally it doesn't bother me, but the pollen this year is just ridiculous. I'm just like, hooky Dinah. Very Canadian. Yes, it's very Canadian. <laughs> I'm like, this makes sense. We're all like, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I did this. I'm sorry. And it's like, guys, calm down. It makes me chuckle. So many allergies. Oh dear. It's weird. I never really understood it till this year and my head just felt like foggy and I was like, why is my life miserable? Oh, because trees. <laughs> In my head, we're a really advanced scientific society, so I'm like, why hasn't anyone figured out how to cure this? Not bothered by seasonal? That kicked this year, though. Yeah, me too. I've heard that from a lot of people that don't normally get allergies or having a hard time this year. It's been very wet where I live, so maybe everything's just growing really well. Okay, here we go. Okay. Filling this in here. I'm really surprised. At how long have I been here for? It's going very quickly. I'm quite excited. I feel like there's something about a simplistic project that just looks nice. A lot of people there are worse this year. Yeah. Starting to contemplate a conspiracy theory based on all the allergies. <laughs> you know it's weird? Because we used to have an OSB plant nearby, and I've heard that stuff like that can be pretty hard on creating allergies. Um, but it shut down, so you couldn't even conspire about that. Okay, some conspiracy theories, though. <laughs> YouTube's a funny place sometimes, but we won't get into that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Moose, moose, moose. I had moose for supper the other day. I had taco salad with moose meat. It was quite tasty. And that's how I am a moose. Because I am what I eat. There we go. How was everyone's weekend? What did 
What did you all do? I'm really boring. I baked and decorated cookies. I finished my Paw Patrol ones and I did, I baked all these ones. Yeah, that's like all I did all weekend. I had a friend pop over. What did I do yesterday? Oh, I did Venom cookies this weekend. That got picked up earlier today. I'll have to add that to the, the cookie spam in my Discord. It's fun because there's some that I can't post on like Facebook and Instagram. I usually wait for... The cookies look amazing though. Thank you very much. Yes. You know, I, I get a little tired, a little creatively burnt out a, t a touch. However, I find when I take a day off, I'm like, what should I work on next? Because I just, I do love it, so it works out well. You worked? Oh, what do you do for work? Unless you don't want to talk about work, then I totally understand that. Sometimes time off is time off. <laughs> This is what I do for work. Oh, I'm gonna make pancakes for supper and I'm really excited. <laughs> because apparently I just eat breakfast foods all day. I had breakfast for supper at my wedding is how much I love breakfast food. Benny. I've been really into making eggs Benny recently. I did one a few weeks ago. I did it with like a roasted spinach and tomato on the bun and then the Benny I did um, prosciutto. It was really good. You're a content writer? That sounds amazing. That's so cool. You must be very creative. I admire writers. I love to read. <laughs> Cat who was in here earlier is working on some writing stuff. He doesn't love it when I mention it, but Mr. Dayfeard also does some writing. But uh, that's pretty cool. What kind of content do you write about? Pancakes, eggs, Benny. I know. I've been practicing my homemade hollandaise, and uh, I think I pretty much have it down pat. I might be going to a family reunion here and we were doing some meal planning around it and they're like, we should do Eggs Benny. But like, the father in the family, he's like, Eggs Benny is his thing. And I'm like, but does he use packaged sauce? Can I do this sauce? And it was like, all of the big like, this is not your meal to cook, Sarah. I'm really bad. That's like one of my bad habits. Being a professional cook, and being someone who's done culinary school, I'm very comfortable in a kitchen and I tend to, I'm trying to watch myself. When I go into a kitchen, I kind of just take over. <laughs> and I just, anyway, I'm trying to not and just be better at not taking over people's kitchens. It's not like, it's people I know, but sometimes I need to sit back. But I have a hard time sitting. I just love cooking for people. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, we're going to do pancakes for supper because I need to go grocery shopping and it's about the extent of the food that I have. <laughs> a fun meal for a wedding. It was, and you know what? We had like the gluten dairy free options and it's cheap. It's such a cheap wedding meal because you're not paying for meat or like eggs, but eggs are like 25 cents per egg where I live anyway. And it was fun. You just do like some bacon and sausage and pancakes. It's great. You don't have to pay for steak or chicken or all that stuff. Anyway, I enjoyed it. You write for websites. Oh, stories in your spare time. I loved it though. Yeah, I bet though when you're um, when you're done though, it's probably like done work at the end of the day. It's probably exhausting. Do you do like news or like articles? I need a hat. Okay. Um, I have a 
pirate hat. I have kind of a cowboy hat. I have toques. I think I have a Batman toque somewhere. What kind of hat would you like, the little da dino boy? If you don't care, I can just go grab one. <laughs> Let me know. Pirate. That one's my favorite. I was hoping you'd say that. I will be right back. You can hang out with Batman. He's here at the back. Yar. Technically, you're supposed to wear, like, a hat or some sort of something when you're doing food, so I'm actually just being food safe right now by wearing this pirate hat. Articles. Oh, cool. Do you ever, like, oh, I was like, why is it so quiet? <laughs> Do you ever feel like you run out of ideas or not so much? Thank you! I had a pirate themed wedding. This is my spouse's wedding hat. It's actually a Pirates of the Caribbean hat. Oh, my hat's in the... <laughs> oh no. Here, well... <laughs> I'll make it work. I'll try and like not stick my hat in the camera. I'll just move over this way a little bit. And then I should... No, this way. If I move over this way, then it shouldn't get in the way. Okay. Last bit of the moose here. And then... <laughs> this might be... This hat might be problematic. Here, we'll just move this this way. And we'll just be at a bit of an angle. And it's totally fine. Perspective of your brim. Uh, I hope things aren't looking too brim for you. <laughs> Wah, 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 like grim, but not. <laughs> Your partner, you have too many ideas. You're struggling to keep up. Oh, that's great. Do you guys write together? That's a fun thing to do with your partner. Um, Mr. Dave Beard writes really fun stories, and so I keep saying that I want to illustrate them for him. And then I just am a big old bum and I have, I could illustrate them in cookies. <laughs> a good place to be. Oh, your work partner. Oh, <laughs> Here I'm like, <laughs> that's funny. Yes. That also makes sense. <laughs> no, that's really cool. Do you write for multiple websites or do you just have like your own website? Have you always wanted to be a writer? Is that something that you like dreamed about as a kid or like how did you get into writing? Um, when I was a kid, oh good. You always forget. <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's all good. Um, when I was a kid, when I went to preschool, the first thing I'd do would be I'd go to the toy kitchen and I'd sit there and my mom had to drag me out. So then I thought I would, um, I thought I'd go into like acting or I had a lot of teachers telling me I should go to like do something very high academics, but I just love creating and, and so I went to culinary school. This is the wrong headphone. And it's delicious. And you never go hungry when you work in a kitchen. A couple of your own websites. Also write for an agency here and there. Neato. You were a kid. You said you wanted to grow up to be a princess. <laughs> an artist and a writer. Oh. Well, that's cool. Um, do you do art? What? I mean, outside of writing. I feel like writing is its own art. Do you do any other mediums, though? They did this fun thing. It was part of a juried art show, and then they did a part of it. The Writers Guild or something had a competition where you took a piece of art that you saw at the show, and then you were supposed to write a quick, like, short story about, like, inspired by the person's local art. 
anyway, it was kind of a neat idea. I didn't end up seeing who won it, but <laughs> you knew what you wanted to be early on. You know what, though? I knew what I wanted to be early on as a child, but I totally ignored it as a teenager. Um, I was very confused and had a really hard time choosing what I wanted to do. Um, I had a, I was a people pleaser though, and I had a lot of people telling me that I should go into sciences and blah, 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 blah. Everyone was like, you're so smart. I'm not. I just worked hard. <laughs> I pretended to be smart. So, anyway. I was very confused for a very long time. However... All right, Mr. Moose, Mr. Moose. Oh, no, crack it, Sarah. I'm very content now. <laughs> it's really tough. I, I really feel for people trying to, like, high school grads and stuff and people trying to figure out. It's hard to choose what you want to do after school and you know I feel like there's this impression that is given a lot I need a tray I need a tray it's a good thing I have a lot of these <laughs> that you have to know as soon as you graduate what you want to do it's like no most people change their professions multiple times like chill it's all good anyway I just have a lot of personal feelings about it because I had a lot of like, I had a lot of pressure. Whoa. Here, I'm just trying to get this a little better for you. Ta-da! Okay, don't touch it, Sarah. Move on. Um, traditional art terribly. <laughs> you knit. That's impressive. I'm impressed by knitters. I've tried to knit. I made a scarf once that was like, ooh. It didn't end well. People don't see creative jobs as practical. Did the same and worked a lot of jobs that you did not enjoy before magically landing and writing again. How is it magical? That's, you've intrigued me with your phrasing. Oh, I should try and do this a little on the inside. I like having a bit of a border. Then later I can go around it with uh, red or black or... I just like the look of them with a good border on it. It's true. It's, it's tough. Um, yeah, I just had a lot of people encouraging me to do some very high academics, which is great if that's what you want to do and that's what you love. But I remember looking at like lists of courses I could take and I'm like, none of these interest me. <laughs> I am not interested in any of these things. I was not looking at trade schools. That's what I should have looked. I'm very hands-on. I like practical stuff. That was a poor phrasing. I just, I like hands-on. So, that's really cool that you got into writing. So now, is that, like, your full-time gig? Okay. I accidentally landed into cookies. I went on maternity leave from my culinary work. And I honestly did it for fun. Uh, it was a fun thing I thought I'd try and I just didn't stop doing it. I've had like phases, I don't know if other people who like creative stuff are like me where they try different mediums for a little bit here and there and then they try something else. <laughs> I did felting for a while. Watercolor I think I'll always do. I haven't been doing much of lately. I do watercolor on cookies. Those are, those are always fun, but... This combined my two loves, which is baking and painting, and it's a very, again, it's, it's tough to get into art as a creative person. Um, so this is my creative way to have a job. 
hearing how people's careers pan out to reflect who they were as kids. You know, it's so crazy how often... My mother always told me to take courses I liked in high school, because I'd probably end up doing something that I liked. And then I didn't listen, because I was stubborn, and <laughs> took all these, like, courses I'm never going to use. I didn't even take foods. So I was like, that's dumb. <laughs> I'm having a lot of bubbles here. Uh, if you just look at it on the side, you can kind of see when bubbles like just start to pop up. So I'm just kind of getting them out. You were working nights and taking care of your child during the day. That sounds exhausting. First of all, props to you because if you are working all night and then caring for your child all day, when do you sleep? <laughs> Nights off, you play video games. One of your gaming friends started working as an SEO. I don't even know what that is. Agency. Learned about SEO. Hey, you want to create a website with me? And you said yes. <laughs> Speaking of yes, man. Just going to do it as a replacement for gaming. Turned out to be good at it. Ended up being able to quit my other job and do it full time now. That's so cool. I love that. I don't even know how you would be able to like, is it, do you make money on websites through like ads or like, is it a click based thing? That's so interesting. How did that become a job? I also like hearing about how people run into their their careers. It's so funny. I feel like it's, it's rarely how you think it'll go. <laughs> it's lots of trying stuff. I've decided my midlife crisis, I might go into research, but that's a ways away. So <laughs> I've already decided my midlife crisis. Oh, I love long walls of text. It's all good. I am totally in for blurbs. It's fun getting to know people and I'm enjoying getting to know you. Okay, I need to fill in these spots. One second, I'm just doing this flood. Do, 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 do. I think I finally figured out the consistency for this icing and I'm so happy about it. You're no stronger to long messages and rabbit trails. Yes, Golter Jake is very true. <laughs> That's how I got my spouse. <laughs> he was like, "That's cool," and then I'd send him another paragraph. He's like, "That's nice." Totally at the time, trying to be like, "Okay, stop talking to me," and then I didn't, and now we're married. Ha ha! Love story. <laughs> I joke, I'm like, I stalked him until he said yes. <laughs> Very romantic. Uh, CEO is art behind how Google ranks things. Or SEO. Search engine something? Is that what that means? You're purple again? Your hair? Your... I haven't seen your haircut, by the way. I saw a picture of it on Instagram. I haven't seen your epic haircut. Or do you mean like your name is purple? That's neat. Something is neat. All people. People? People I, like I like to learn about people? Oh dear. I feel so bad, Guru. I feel like whenever you say something, I'm like, I've lost my train of thought. And yet you keep hanging out with me. Thanks for doing that. <laughs> Lots of ways you can make money on websites. Some people do it through ads. Selling their own products. Affiliate programs. Oh, like if you purchase this through the click on my website. Donations, other things. Nifty. Your hair. Oh, okay. Like what did, did you do like dark purple or like a light purple? Tell me more about the purple. I've never dyed my hair. I'm too much of a wimp. I'm also extremely lazy, so I've never dyed it because then I'm like, then I'd have to re-dye it or do like 
care for it or eh. it's a uh, it's a lot of work and I'm real lazy when it comes to hair <laughs> I'm like takes me three minutes to put it in a braid and then I move on with my life I admire people who actually do their hair every day I'm like props to you because there's been days I've left the house and I go to my vehicle and I look in the window and I'm like, oh, I didn't brush my hair today. This is the ponytail I threw it in when I got out of bed. <laughs> my level of caring is about this large right now. <laughs> 30 minutes ago. Oh, okay. Very dark. Hello, family. Maxine Z. You got off at normal times today. Are you exhausted? Were you hauling dirt some more? That sounds fun. Yeah, purple. You should send me a picture. If you feel so inclined. <laughs> Does it look like almost black or is it more of like a red purple? There we go. So Argyle, when you're doing writing then, how do you schedule that? Do you do that from home? And then do you just kind of write when you have time or do you give yourself hours to do that? Uh, Maxine Z, I'm doing Canada Day cookies. These ones are not very Canada-y yet. But this is kind of what we're going for. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. So yeah, I'm doing all of these now. And I'm employing Mr. Dave Beard. <laughs> I'm making him yesterday he filled in some of my venom cookies for me I just did the outline and he did the floods it terrifies him but I'm gonna see if he wants to marble with me so I can get all these marbled my maple bacon ones and they actually smell so good you like break them open and it just like it's maple hitting you in the face and I love it but I like maple so you sure did making forms of concrete stairs what do you make the forms out of I need to actually fill this well. Cleaning on a shovel. Oh, it's a pretty cookie. Thanks. Lots of cleaning on a shovel. What? What? Oh, like with a shovel? Like you have to clean up edges and stuff? Concrete sounds... Challenging. <laughs> Depends on the lighting. In person, it looks very rich and plum. Pictures, it looks red. Oh, okay. Learning. Forms for country. Oh, you're learning lots. Because, yeah, you said you don't, you haven't had a lot of stuff with concrete before, hey? That's pretty great, though. Because I know you were saying you were wanting to get some more experience. But, oy vey, I'm sure you're tired. <laughs> Do you have to do, like, lifting with concrete? Probably, hey? Oh, don't make bubbles. I want to get rid of bubbles. I don't want to make bubbles. Ah! Sorry, I should have silenced that. That's rude. Still work nights because work partner lives on another continent. Oh, <laughs> you do this when you work together. Interesting. So you like write um, like over Skype kind of thing? I could never write with people when I was in school and stuff, so that's kind of impressive to me. Get more sleep and you get to work at home. Yeah, so you're here when your son wakes up. How old is your son? Okay. I have a one-year-old. <laughs> Uh, I keep a day planner with our planned content and try and stay ahead of schedule so that if you need time off, you can take it. Yeah! Oh, leaning! As in standing. <laughs> so you've been doing lots of leaning? That does sound like far work. You're five! Aww! I love that. I'm sure he loves his dog, hey? 
Well, that's great that you get more sleep. Because heaven knows we all need more sleep. <laughs> Especially as parents. Okay, away these ones go. Oh, I'm almost done these too. Wow, I'm working so fast today. Goodbye. Hello. If you can see them, this is my moose. Oh no, you can't see that. <laughs> I'm just gonna take these out. And stick them all on the same tray. Okay. And we will continue. Oh, 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 nice hat. <laughs> It can be, especially the prep. Oh, I can imagine. Yes, um, little Dino Boy used uh, their channel points and got me to wear a hat. Honestly, I think the channel point is like I wear a hat for five minutes, but the pirate one's my favorite and it just kind of stays on my head. Over Discord, partner does a lot of the research and outreach and you do most of the writing. Oh, that works really well. So it's not like you're two writers who like have conflicting. Um, opinions and things. Wow, my brain was not working there. But I'm sure that that happens too sometimes. That's really cool though. I love that. Sun loves doggies. <laughs> yep. Mine doesn't even have... I have a daughter. Um, not that it matters, but she loves dogs. We go for walks and she sees ones and is like... And then we, we live right next to a, uh, a dog park, so it's very convenient. Although, I feel like it'd be more convenient if I had a dog, but, oh well. She is one in like a month, <laughs> so 13 months, I suppose they refer that to. Yeah, it's quite fun. The older she gets, the more I enjoy it. <laughs> Uh, it's a good time. So, yeah, this is my at-home thing that I do. It is a fun age. I love it. I remember being five. I remember thinking that five was the best age. <laughs> I was like, I hope I never stop being five, and then I turned six. <laughs> so you have dogs. There's a big pit bull on the site today. Pretty chill, but wow, is he huge. Was he one of those horse dogs that you see them and you're like, I wonder how much it is to feed that kind of a dog. That would be a lot. I think they're so fun though. She is adorable. I sure think so. I won't spam you with all of, I feel like that's the thing when you're a parent, you're like, I'm gonna talk about all the stuff you don't care about with my child. <laughs> people grow up too quickly it does it goes fast but I'm, I'm enjoying the moments for sure do you still have your Lona dog Maxine what's her name Sheba does she still come see you often hey how's your garden doing SNC was telling me about um, the beans and stuff that he planted but I remember you the the flower patch the wildflowers that we planted did those grow very muscly speaking of muscly animals have you ever seen a bull in real life oh my goodness those things are terrifying i have a friend who raised cattle and so instead of riding horses we were herding them with quads and we were riding next to, I think it was 10 feet away kind of thing, like a bull, but the muscles just ripple and they're shiny and it's terrifying. I'm like, please don't come near me. You are giant and scary. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, talk about her. You love hearing about kids? Oh, awesome. I do too. You can tell me all the stories, but I can't think of any at the current moment, but today 
she started saying banana, which is kind of fun. I mean, mostly it's just na 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 na. <laughs> but I'm game. I'm like, yes, I might be imagining this, but I'm going with it. Someone who works in a large animal vet clinic, yes, bulls are massive. They are. You can't, can you eat a bull once it's like, because I know that they castrate, you might know this. I know they castrate boys for meat, but if a bull is not castrated, it gets quite muscly. Is he no longer a, would they not farm him? Because he probably, um, they're probably tough, hey? You haven't seen Shiva for a bit. Oh. I liked your rent a dog. The flower bed is weedy, <laughs> very weedy. <laughs> I keep getting um, pig's weed. It's like a new weed. I've never had it before, but I have it now. What does she enjoy doing? Um, currently, she's really into uh, coloring. And I have to be careful to make sure she doesn't try to eat the crayons. <laughs> I also recently gave her, it's like a bunch of plastic toy food that she sits there and pretends that she's having a tea party. It's quite cute, actually. With like a little like Tupperware tea set and she takes the cup and like pours it and she'll pretend to drink a cup. I'm like, oh, are you thirsty? So I give her water and she's like, no, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm like, okay. They're not castrated. They're probably using them for breeding. I'm not sure if they're good beef or not. Yeah. My brother-in-law uh, has cows and they just finished calving. And he's like, so keep in mind, if you want some beef next year. I'm like, oh, okay. Granted, I don't eat a lot of meat. Not for any other reason except that I'm lazy. But... <laughs> It's funny, I'm a professional cook. I'm too lazy to cook meat. Um, cute, yeah, kids are funny. What uh, What is your setup to these days? Eating crayons, like mother, like daughter. He, <laughs> yeah. I did find one with the tip off of it and I'm like, this is why they make these non-toxic. Oh, sorry, my hat's coming in here again. So imaginative already. You know, I think that's partially her father, too. He takes toys and he does very, very good voices with them. So much so that if I do the wrong voice with the toy, she knows and she's like, Mom. <laughs> she gives me a look and crawls away. She's like, that's not the toy's voice. And she catches you doing the voice. Not so much anymore. He's also teaching her evil laughter. His theory is that that's how he's going to keep um, people, the boys away is if she has an evil laugh, she'll be too scary. And I'm like, but David, what if she wants to make friends? <laughs> I'm going to lose the hat for a bit. So anyway, her laugh has gone from a giggle and it's now a really grunty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. These are done. Hooray. Um, so we're gonna do the flags next, I think. Oh, actually, no. We are gonna do the moose because I have to do three layers on these guys. Um, and the moose, or the, the flags, I only have to do two. So I'll get this layer in while that's drying. I can work on the other stuff. Riding his bike, aww. Write his letters and loves reading stories. Minecraft, oh no, Gru. <laughs> okay, I love Minecraft. A farmer's market on Canada Day? There isn't. Um, I have an order for 25 uh, Canada Day cookies. I'm just making extra and then I'm just going to throw them on my Facebook page if anyone wants to buy them. And if they don't, I have lots of friends who I'll just be like, Happy Canada Day! Have some free cookies! You do it! Okay, I'm really bad at this, which is probably why Guru is making me do it. <laughs> this is my moose call. Google it. 
a moose call. I'm really bad. Usually you get like a piece of birch wood and you roll it up and you go like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I think my sub sounds are my are moose calls, if you want to know. Anyway, there you are. I just blew into my mouth. More of grunts? More grunts? I need to do more grunts? <laughs> Is that better, Maxie? <laughs> I'm slaying myself. Oh, I'm slaying myself. Okay, I just blew into my hands. So, food safe reasons mean I need to go wash them. So, I'll be back in over 20 seconds because that's how long you need to wash your hands for. Oops, wrong one. So when she comes back, you should probably request another one. <laughs> That'd be so cruel, but hilarious. Do what you gotta do, Gru. 140. That's the kind of thing I should put in a stream preview right there. Okay, you need a face. What's her face? You need a face. Okay, this is gonna be the copper. My hands are still a little wet. Where's my paper towel? Aw, thanks, Gru. <laughs> that's to help me recover from my grunting. See, that's what you need to request that next time my throat's all, like, being dumb. Oh, how do I want to do this? And then I can just clear it while doing a moose call. Okay. I've never done this one before. I always get nervous when I'm doing new ones. This coloring is more elkish, in my opinion. I think I'm going to go this way. Need to get one of those turny table thingies. Doo -doo. They're like those cake decorating spinny lazy Susans. Um, but they're mini, and they're like made for decorating cookies, so you can just like slightly tap it. I like this color! I haven't used this one before. It's a mix of copper and brown. It's very warm. I like it. It's kind of pumpkin-y. Putting on the shirt then. Was I not wearing a shirt? Oh, the gingerbread man. <laughs> oh yeah, look, it looks like a, it's a, this is my person. Can you see? <laughs> That's so funny. Very much does look like one. I'm rollerblading. <laughs> he does. He looks like a... Ah. Oh, deer. Oh, moose. Not deer. <laughs> no, um, that mythical creature, what are those called? The half-humans, half-goats that have, like, hooves? Oh, where's Alpy Jean when I need them? Ow. Alpy Jean's like all up on the myth Greek mythology, but it looks like one of those things, right? Satyr! Yes! It looks like a satyr! Sorry, I'm just really excited about this. That's so fun! Okay, moose face, satyr. Moose face, satyr. <laughs> Fawns? Yes, one of those. Fawn females, satyr. Doe, a deer, a female, satyr. <laughs> Don't know why I grabbed another one when uh, I have them over there. But yeah, you can see they're kind of shiny from the dehydrator. Oh, I love the shiny ones. I don't know what this is. Apparently I'm in jazz hat mood. Where's my paper towel? Oh, it's way over there. <laughs> oh, that's a fun question. What's your favorite mythological creature? I don't even know how I'd answer that. I was going to be like pterodactyl, but then... <laughs> It's a dinosaur. <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, mythological creatures. I'm trying to think. I need a list. 
Berries? No, that's boring. Dragons! I'm picking dragons. I started reading the How to Train Your Dragon books, and they're so good. As in, I've only read the first one, but I really enjoyed it. For like a children's novel, it's very fun to read. Minotaur, orc. Oh, that's fun. I was an orc in the last, I was a halfling orc in my last D&D &D campaign. Sorry, it was Pathfinder. Does that matter? Did I just offend someone by saying that? I watched a thing about minotaurs as a kid about this like Greek maze that everyone would get lost in and die and apparently there's a minotaur in it. That's what they believed that killed them. Minotaurs make me think of destiny and minotaurs are nasty to try. Kind of like a dinosaur. Dragon, yes. I agree, dragons are so cool. A gobbly, which unicorn. Oh, you're giving me a list is what you're doing. I was like, Gru, you have a lot of favorites, but you're giving me a, a list to pick from. See, if I was to be a mythological creature, I'd probably want to be a mermaid. Solely because I love water. And I always, like, I remember being a kid in the swimming pool and just wishing with all of my heart that I could breathe underwater. Which I cannot. And then you watch things like Pirates of the Caribbean, um... Oh, which one is it? It's the Fountain of Youth. Ah! Sorry. That's rude. We're just gonna stick that over there. I like you guys better, so I'm ignoring that. <laughs> I think I have a hole in my bag. Look it. It's like leaking. Part of me wants to rip it and make it bigger. But that's a bad idea. Okay, we'll survive. I don't have very much left to do with this bag, so. So we're just gonna keep using it. So my problem is I, I try to reuse things. I sanitize them and then I reuse the bags. I just can't justify throwing something out after I use it once. Like, ugh. Anyway, I'm, I'm very careful to make sure it's sanitary. Also, the icing I'm using has, like, no high risk. It's, like, sugar, vanilla, meringue powder, secret ingredients, but they're, I, if you tr just trust me, they're all very, like, food safe. Anyway, sanitize them, and then I reuse them, but sometimes they get holes in them, but I forget which ones have holes, and then I wash the ones with holes. <laughs> Oops. Just oops. Okay. I actually just watched a really cool documentary. I've been watching documentaries when I'm, while I'm decorating because, although in my mind, I was like, I could just listen to the information and then I can learn stuff while I'm sitting here decorating forever. However, then they get too interesting and I don't end up doing anything because I'm watching this documentary. Anyway, there's some really cool ones with National Geographic about uh, areas of the Greece and things. Oh, that's what I was watching. It was the Greeks. So, anyway. Apparently, I wasn't paying as good attention as I should because, oh my, elastic's coming up. So this is the other thing I do. I just use elastic bands and you can just tie them this way, but the other ones don't uh, come off as easily. It's neither here nor there. They both work. So. I enjoy dragons quite a bit. It's made me laugh that um, things like Twilight and Vampire Diaries and stuff have like taken these mythological creepy characters and they're all like fancy now. Like it's funny watching, um, what was I watching? Buffy the Vampire Slayer and vampires are like these like super evil scary things and then we have Twilight where they're all like sparkly. <laughs> but we can't forget the original nice vampire. The Count from Sesame Street. One! Ah, ah, ah. Oh 
coming to you live. I can fix it. It's fine. That was just very surprising. <laughs> <laughs> all of the notes. It's all good. It's all good. It's an easy fix. I was just surprised more than anything. I went to go. Sometimes I tap. We've got a moose tap. I am. Um, sometimes I tap my scribe to push it down, like in my hand, and it just. It stuck to my cutting board so firmly that when I moved my hand up, it didn't come with my hand. <laughs> oh man. Anyway. So that happened. But it's fine. See, look, nothing happened. La la la. It's all good. Okay, I have three more of these. And then we will switch to, I should really try some stenciling, but I'm not feeling very courageous. <laughs> it's all good. We're, we're good. Okay, um, I'm gonna, I should do some stenciling. I feel like that could be fun to watch too. I have stenciling and flags. Should I do some stenciling? I mean, I'm going to have to do it eventually. I've just never done it before, so I'm a little nervous. Which I will get over promptly. I'm just procrastinating. I'm being productive in my procrastination. I'm a very productive procrastinator. I'm like, I need to clean the toilets and whatnot. Oh, there's a question for you. Are you a procrastinator? Although I suppose some people don't want to admit that, so <laughs> don't feel like you have to. But it depends on the thing. Most of the time I'm quite productive, but sometimes. Surprise the little person hasn't awakened yet. What time is it? 4.44? Um, little person had a hard time falling asleep today. She's currently working on some molars. Um, she's quite lovely. She's a very lovely teether. Um, mostly she's just a little fussy, but she's very content and still giggly and happy, so I'm very lucky. Uh, but she had a hard time falling asleep, so she'll probably sleep right till five, if not longer. But, anyway, my numerous vibrating phones are probably my updates on whether or not she's, when she fell asleep and stuff. Procrastinator in some things. Yes. Tell you tomorrow if I'm a procrastinator. <laughs> oh, Groom, you make me laugh. I feel like by you saying that is just you admitting that you are a procrastinator. So, a thousand percent procrastinator, but not on everything. Yeah. It really depends. Honestly, it depends how much sleep I've gotten. I'm very much not a procrastinator if I'm well rested. If I'm tired, I just kind of want to sit. Grew. <laughs> yeah, that was quite funny. It depends on what it is. I get text messages, actually. I procrastinate on text messages. I can read them and then I don't respond sometimes. And it's a really awful habit that I really need to work on. Mostly, I like genuinely most of the time, I do get distracted and I'm like, oh, look, real life, and then I don't want to be on my phone, so I just go and do other stuff. In my mind, though, my logic is, if it's important, I will get a phone call. <laughs> Which is not true anymore. People don't do that very much, so. Anyway, this is my way of saying, if you need to get a hold of me, Maybe don't text me. <laughs> the thing you need to do depends on someone else. You're more inclined to do it right away. Oh, like if someone else is involved, like so-and-so needs blank thing. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I've been pretty good. I wasn't a procrastinator in like school. I was always pretty good at stuff like that. 
but and then in theater I was really competitive oh my goodness I once got cast and it was a double casting role too double casting is the worst thing to do in theater understudies make sense but double casting is just horrible it's a good way to tear friendships apart I almost lost a friend over double casting anyway it's just tough when there's like one person who's doing it and then that director is like do it more like Sarah it's a hard time anyway I, get, I got really competitive and I'm like I'm gonna memorize all of my lines in one night so I think I memorized the first act before <laughs> the next class it was pretty bad that's why I don't do theater it's not a good color on me uh, anymore the thing you need oh you used to procrastinate a lot you've gotten better yeah I have to give myself rewards Oh, I know what I procrastinate on. Charging. Money. Makes me... Ugh. I've been really good with cookies, but I make vegan sodium-free meals. Or oil-free, sodi low-sodium vegan meals for a family. And they're friends of mine. And I'm so bad at, like, sitting down to figure out how much the meal costs me, how much I should charge them. Um, so I will put that off for months at a time to the point where I have to tell like a friend like give me a reward and then give me a consequence because lots of the times I'm more motivated by consequences so they'll say if you don't do this by this day this is your consequence and I'm like okay yeah comparison on other students is not okay yeah they don't they don't really do um, double casting anymore which is good it's, uh, in my mind, I think it's, it doesn't work well in theater because every person who plays each character gets half the amount of rehearsal time, um, and they get half of the amount of show time. So technically you're just going to end up with a week or show because people aren't going to be as well rehearsed. If you come from it from a non- emotional standpoint it's kind of my look at the big lump on this thing that is rough it's very um it wasn't a good idea anyway it's fine that director's no longer directing anyway <laughs> Oh man, no, theater was an ugly color on me, so I stopped doing it, because I get way too competitive, and just, I don't like how it feels. I'm never mean, but I don't like how I feel on the inside. So, anyway. What kind of hobbies do you all do that you don't do anymore? <laughs> okay, goodbye, Moose. Okay, maple leaves. We're gonna do it. How many do I have? Let me just count here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten here, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I have twenty-five. So I need to do 25 divided by 2 would be 12 and a half, so I will do a dozen of each kind. Okay. Maple bacon cookies for this order, too. No, those are for fun. Let me show them to you. I got little bits of bacon in them. <laughs> no, I'm going to marble those ones. Um, and I'll sell those as a bundle, too. So we'll do a batch of, like, maple bacon ones. Because there's bacon in them, they'll be more expensive. So. You used to scrapbook lots. You still want to. Time issue and a procrastination issue for sure. Yes. Okay. I'm going to grab my bench scraper. We're gonna do this and see what happens. 
You used to draw, but you don't do it anymore. Oh, yeah. Drawing, I find, happens in seasons for me. Are you the flood? And you are the... <gasps> that was frightening. This is writing. I have two bags of black here, and I think this is the one I want. Okay, come on. Come on out. Sir. Let's see if this works. If not, I'll just do something else. Ah! Okay. Here we go. We're gonna start this way. This is terrifying! I thought you did still sketch. Oh, Barkerville is open. That sounds fun. Okay. I'm not scared. You're scared. <laughs> Stay still. Ah! I'm not scared. You're scared. <laughs> Don't sorry. I'm just doing something for the first time today. This is fine. This is fine. It's totally fine. Everything is fine. It's perfectly fine. I'm not freaking out internally. Nothing's happening. It's just a normal day on stream. Nothing is wrong. Whew. Here we go. I'm doing this without the proper tools and it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. And I'm hoping it turns out cool. Okay, okay, here's the worst part. I mean the best part. Oh, hold on, we're not done over here. Come on, come with mom, come with me, come here, come on. Wow, you can tell your parent when you say come with mom. Cake, cakes, cake, spread, spread. Oh, that's so messy. That does not look how I want it to look. It's not bad. Uh, that's a cool thing. Oh, this is stenciling. Painstaking. You believe in me. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> Weekend working. Yes. I... <laughs> Try using a brush and painting it on? <gasps> Mr. Dave Beard, you're smart. Okay, let's try that. I've made a million extras, so that's a great idea. Um, let me grab this. Oh, like not with icing. <gasps> Mr. Dave Beard, you are smart. You are laughing at the come with mom? <laughs> Okay. Okay. I have black here. Do I have all the supplies around me? This is an almost empty black thing. I'm just going to put water in this. Okay. I have to go wash this off. Give me a minute at the most. I'm going to go get a, a, a water and a thing. And a, ah, dropping stuff. No, come back. dry off my stencil and we're gonna try this again 
<laughs> All right, let's let's see what happens. Yeah, Mr. Dave Beard's very smart and very helpful. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. I mean, all this fails if it doesn't work. Here, we'll test it on this cookie. This one's all like, can you see all the swirlies in it? You can't really see it on the camera. We'll test it on this one, though. I would love to have it turn out, though, because the plaid, I think, would be so fun. Okay, we're going to hold it right here. Uh, we're going to just give this a mix. Normally I do this in a... I have a... What's it, is it called? It's not an easel. It's a... You know that thing for paint that has the holes in it? Oh, I don't know. Palette! Haha, -ha, I remembered. <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of loud. I just remembered it and I got excited. Okay. Technically, you normally use palette. Yes, screw. <laughs> normally, you would use this kind of a stencil. You'd have a frame with it. Um, oh, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work at all. That's just, okay, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> oh, I just don't want to do this by hand. And I just feel like it would look so nice if it worked. Okay, watercolor is a no. Let's try icing with a brush. That is the next and last option. What if I just did this? Would this be a pain in the butt? If I just like used it as like a... Oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. Which would be very sad if it doesn't. We'll try this and see what happens. What about your markers? Oh. Yeah, the brush and the the dye didn't work. It's uh it's too wet and it um bleeds underneath the stencil. So, it ends up kind of smudging quite a bit. Oh, I'm like pushing way too hard on this. Markers is a good idea. Spray paint icing. Yeah, I just don't have an airbrush. Um, normally, if you were to do stenciling like this, you would use an airbrush machine. Um, I haven't ordered mine yet. I have the money for it. I just uh, haven't done that yet. So I might just have to do a different project on them, which would be very sad because I was really excited about this stencil. But we'll see if this works here. An airbrush, yeah, yeah. There's, um, you can airbrush food coloring. So we'll see how this brush works, though. It's, I'm a little, I'm hopeful. Because markers would probably work, but it would definitely take long and it wouldn't have as smooth of a look. It's an option, though. My thought is that the stencil would be fast, but I don't know how fast it is. The problem, the other problem will be having to clean the, the icing off of the stencil in between the maple leaves would be the other caveat. It would be lots of cleaning. <laughs> okay, just gonna... Oh, and I've missed a spot down here. So we'll see what happens here. Better! That's better. Um, this one just needs a little bit of... Okay, so brushing. Okay, this side's a little messy. But that's 
an improvement. I will probably need a cup of, oh, I could just use this actually. Need some water. Yeah, it's not as neat as I would want it to be. Um, yeah, but it's, it's, it's still good. And I'm sure as I practice it, it'll look better. Okay, I'm not gonna touch this, I don't think. We'll just, as I start touching it. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Need to go to bed, yeah, for sure. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, thank you, it was great to see you and chat with you. Um, happy writing and uh, yeah, thanks. Happy Canada Day. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. So now I kind of know vaguely what I want to do here. I think the biggest thing is going to be the clean edges. Some areas I don't think I had enough icing on. So... We'll uh, make sure there's enough there. I'm just being conservative because my bag's not very full, but I have more that I can use. Bye bye for sure. Toodles, toodles. I used to have this thing with my. I had one friend. Oh, I bumped this. Is this okay? Are we good? Where we would go back and forth and be like. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. As you wish, jellyfish. Okie dokie, artichokey. Wish I could stay, blue jay. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Uh, ciao for now, brown cow. Oh, did I say that one already? Oh, what was the other one? Gotta go, buffalo. Anyway, we'd go back and forth until someone couldn't think of something. So if you have any of those that you could top. <laughs> I mean, I think you could also Google it, but that's no fun. Okay, so this is kind of working. This is, this is happening. It's definitely not an airbrush, but it's not bad. And I really want it to work, so I'm just going to do it until it does. I think this is good. Taking the stencil off is the scariest part. So this one is almost a little too thick in some places. And this is a little dirty in this corner here. Oh, I think that's supposed to be there. That's a line. So I'm just going to do this. So this corner I seem to be having issues with. So that's something I can watch for. Do I have a mess down here on the corner? Is that what's causing it? It might be the stencil itself, so I'll just wipe it off in between. I think will be a good way. You could try this later. Take a straw and cut almost in half. Leave a little under a quarter intact. A straw that bends in half connects with two holes in the middle. Put in the color and blow at the angle through. Oh, melt operated airbrush. That's an interesting idea. I would have to read that a few times, I think, to totally understand it. But that's a very neat idea, looking into, like... <laughs> Use it on pottery. Oh, who knew stencils were so hard on cookies? You know, if I had the... The stencil holder, the magnet stencil holder, that would be better uh, because it wouldn't move around so much. Uh, and an airbrush for sure. If you're airbrushing, stencils are easy and fast, but with what I'm currently doing, <laughs> I'm doing the use what you've got technique here. So I just want to make sure I don't have a bunch of old icing on this. It's not the end of the world, but I don't want it to totally mess them up. They're not all going to be plaid. 
Um, I'm just gonna do 12 of them, Glad. So, that's cool though. I vaguely remember doing stuff like that with pottery in my very not extensive um, pottery <laughs> experience. I think I'm just gonna scribble it and then we'll see how this turns on. Maybe I'll just do as many as I have icing for and then I'll just do the rest. Um, I'm gonna do little A's in the corner, like E-H kind of things. I could also leave some plain. They actually look really good plain. So. Okay. You stay where you're supposed to. It was worth a try, though. I'm glad I tried it. I have no regrets. The thicker icing is definitely nice. It's easier to control. Oh my goodness. Didn't know it would take so much focus, though. <laughs> I have a wood grain stencil, too, and I have a, a thank you stencil. So, I have too much icing on this one, I think. So those are ones I'd like to use more in the future. Okay, it's weird brushing icing. Can I just say, it feels weird. <laughs> it's just very thick. Okay. Oh, that one turned out okay. There's some little like flyaways on there, but I can get those off when it's dry. All right, cool. Next. <laughs> and we're just gonna jump right back on here. I'm gonna brush what I have already on the stencil. I actually had a lot on that last one. <laughs> so I don't want to be wasteful. I'm going to use up what I've got here. Oh, wow. This is actually going a long way. Who would have thunk it? Not me. I'm glad I let these uh, maple leaves dry quite a bit because I'm actually putting a decent amount of pressure on the stencil to hold it down. And if it wasn't dry enough, it would be like cratering and cracking on me so bad. And it would not look great. Okay, I think I've uh, used up as much as I should. <laughs> Need to add some more here, but that's kind of fun that I'm able to use a bit of the last stuff on it. So I think lighter icing might be better. So I'm going to try and do it a little thinner. We're learning. We're trying something new. That's good. I just got black on my white icing tip. That's not a good thing. <laughs> I'm going to wash this real quick. I've got some crusties on my brush. Oh, this is just so... I like learning new things, so this is, this is fun. Terrifying and fun. The nice thing is it's a good project to learn with because um, I only need 10 of the cookies, so all else fails, or 10 of the maple leaves for my one order. So all else fails, I'll just give them all of my plain ones and there's lots of room for error. <laughs> and we'll spread this out here. Okay. All right, done, off we go. What kind of pottery are you airbrushing? Is it just for detailing? Okay, that looks good. Cool, cool stuff, cool beads. That's five. Oh, we're halfway there, oh. Living on 
want to stand so Hey, come back here. What time is it? Oh, good gravy. Okay, I'm going to finish this one and then I'm going to have to run. I got a little carried away today. <laughs> but it's been a blast. There's nothing like trying something new on stream. Then you can just laugh at me. Large pots, you can't dip at them. Oh. Do you do colored glazes? I've heard some people say colored glazes can ruin a piece if they go poorly. Maybe I'll do two, depending how much I have left on the stencil. Okay, you stay put, mister. Don't rush it. This is one of those, like, small things. Or small. Slow is the word I'm looking for. Don't rush it. Just... Okay, my cookie's not even either. So I have some spots that are lower than the rest. So it's a little weird to paint on. <laughs> this is why someone was like, we're just gonna get an airbrush and make it work. I don't think you need a special airbrush either. You just have to have like the coloring for it. So that's pretty cool. Okay. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. Yeah, I'm gonna do another one after this because there's so much icing on here. Wow, it makes a little bit of icing go a long way though because I looked at my bag and I was like, I'm not gonna have enough to do any of these and I've almost done like, I've done half a dozen. Okay. Hooray, more plaid. Okay, this corner's really messy, but whatever. Okay. Ah, icing on my fingers. It won't go away. I do not know why there's just Christmas music in my head today. Sorry, I'll stop. Sweet, okay, here we go. This is good. What's everyone having for supper? I'm apparently hungry because all I'm thinking about is food right now. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh, so Gold Toe Jake, you're on days off now. How are the the ten hour shifts treating you? Do you like it more than than a shorter shift with more days? Okay, and we'll do this and get this brushed in there. Hey, go where you want to. Okay, and now I just need a little bit of, just a touch in this corner, over here. This one's really thin, this one's really thin, and this one's really thin. The rest of that looks okay. Longer days are kicking your butt, oh no! How long have you been doing them? Do you think it's one of those, like, you just have to get used to it things, or is it just exhausting? I did a lot of 10 hour days while catering and I was like, it makes for a long day, that's for sure. I'm always super impressed with people who like permanently just do 10 hour days all the time. I'm like, oh my word. Four days a week, so the extra couple hours are rough sometimes. Oh yeah. Do you like having three days off though? Woo! Okay. This is this is working for me. Okay. Ta-da! It's a mess though. My goodness, I'm s just sticky. Working overtime every day. Do you get paid for overtime every day? Or no? That's the real question. Okay. We should go see Buation because she's lovely. She's also Canadian, I think. She's in Ontario. Uh, if it was a, a later shift. Oh, like it's late at night. Oh, 
Yeah, that would be hard. <laughs> well, thank you so much, everyone, for making cookies with me today. It's been an absolute treat. Um, literally. Haha. <laughs> I will be back on Thursday, Friday for sure. Um, I, was, I usually stream on Tuesdays, but my cookies are not stream appropriate. So <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me for Canada Day. Um, cookies, uh, you guys are all awesome. And uh, I will be seeing you soon. Ciao for now. In three, two, one, bam.